Earlier this week, Apple released Final Cut Pro and Logic for the iPad. Now, this is a big step for the iPads, as we've been wanting this from Apple for a while, ever since the iPad Pro third generation when they redesigned it to be fully screen. Because Apple's been holding back on what the iPad can do for a while now, and finally allowing us to have Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro built in directly to our iPads is a step in the right direction. So. Apple has slowly been dwindling over some features from the Mac, such as Stage Manager and all that, but they've been really confined to the M1 and A12 or later iPads, which I think is okay. While I do wish Apple would kind of open it up for everyone and maybe adjust it per device, I also understand they don't want to provide a subpar experience for those on older devices that maybe just not be as well equipped to handle it as someone on an M1 or M2 Pro iPad Pro. So seeing how we finally got Final Cut Pro and how we have the ability to take everything that my MacBook Pro would be doing and put it in a smaller form factor of my iPad and have some more features that Apple cannot do on the Mac because the Mac is not a touchscreen is really nice and enjoyable. But this got me thinking more about what we're going to have in the future because Apple is finally listening to what us as consumers want and finally giving us those features, whereas we finally got Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, which is something people have been asking for for a while. Now, these apps do have specific features that are iPad exclusive, such as live drawing and stuff like that, so you can literally draw and animate something straight from your iPad using Final Cut, which I do think is pretty nice to have, as it does also sync between your Mac, so you can also share a project from your iPad to your Mac, which is pretty nice. But still, Apple held back a little with Final Cut Pro, which I do understand why. Um, in the press release, they also say if you want to color grade or stuff like that, you do have to send it over to your Mac, which I do understand them holding back a little because I don't know about you, and maybe this is just me personally, I feel the iPad would be too small to do a lot of color grading and stuff like that, as you'd want it to look perfect and you have more fine-tuned options on macOS than you do with iOS when it comes to the color profile and all that. But I'm curious to see if maybe Apple's going to add that with iPadOS 17, which might be a bigger upgrade than we were initially thinking. So we really haven't heard any rumors from any leaker about what iPadOS 17 is going to look like. But I think that we're finally getting what we want, such as Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, that I think Apple might finally take the hint and be listening to us more than they have been in the past. So maybe the iPad will get some more Mac-like features. While I know Apple said the iPad is not going to turn into the Mac back in 2018, I believe, I do think we could possibly see some more features make their way over to the iPad in some similar capacities because the answer is not just put Mac OS on an iPad and I agree with that like that is not something that should be done because I feel that it's just going to degrade the iPad experience and it's going to take an okay experience and just make it worse whereas Apple has an okay experience so far on the iPads when they can take that up a notch if they add in more features and listen to us to more of what we want instead of trying to make it like an in-between your iPhone and your Mac, which is right now what it is, but allowing us to take full advantage of these chips that are so powerful, the M1, the M2, and even the A12Z, which is what the M chips are based off of, just allowing us to take more advantage and let us use them to their full potential is allowing creators and really everyone to benefit so much more because we are doing things directly from our fingertips as all I can do is I can take my Apple Pencil and I can be editing a Final Cut timeline. I can also write in a live drawing and have something animate in real time, which is something I can't do with just my Mac. Now, yes, you might be able to do it with some third-party software or something like that, but with Final Cut, you can. And I think Apple giving us more software and more, essentially more things to do with the iPad is definitely going to be a game changer for Apple software in a lot of ways, because I think this is only the beginning. But I want you to remember, today's a good day to make a great day, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.